Now, shortly after Pakistani Prime Minister's United Nations address, India sought its right to reply on the Kashmir issue. The New Delhi put the blame on Islamabad for fostering terrorists and also for propagating cross-border tensions. Listen in to what was said. Mr. President, it is regrettable that the Prime Minister of Pakistan has chosen the platform of this August Assembly to make false accusations against India. He has done so to obfuscate misdeeds in his own country and to justify actions against India that the world considers unacceptable. A polity that claims it seeks peace with its neighbors would never sponsor cross-border terrorism, nor would it shelter planners of the horrific Mumbai terrorist attack, disclosing their existence only under pressure from the international community. Such a country would not make unjustified and untenable territorial claims against neighbors. It would not covet their lands and seek to illegally integrate them with its own. But it is not just about the neighborhood that we have heard false claims today. It is about human rights, about minority rights, and about basic decencies. When young women in the thousands from the minority community are abducted as an SOP, what can we conclude about the underlying mindset? Mr. President, the desire for peace, security, and progress in the Indian subcontinent is real. It is also widely shared, and it can be realized. That will surely happen when cross-border terrorism ceases, when governments come clean with the international community and with their own people, when minorities are not persecuted, and, not least, when we recognize these realities before this assembly. I thank you. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.